Okay, hopefully we're recording. Hello everyone, it's Ashley B. Dad coming at you guys with yet another video. I know that it's been a minute. Um, today is, I believe, April, no, 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 May 9th. Um, I've been a little bit slow with the baby updates. Um, you guys are getting them every week up until I have my baby. He's now six weeks old, so I feel like I'm a little bit rusty, so bear with me, but yeah. Um, I'm going to come back with you guys really quickly. I'm going to start back doing my baby updates. Um, I had him April 28th, so today is, like I said, May 9th, so he's exactly six weeks old. So um, I owe you guys a one month update, which I'm going to do a little bit later today once he gets up from his nap. Um, other than that, um, from there I'm going to start doing them monthly. So I owe you guys his one month update and then you'll get his two month update and so forth and so on until he is one years old. Um, also there's a bunch of baby texts that I'm excited to do. I have a whole list of them um, and I'm going to start with my what's in my diaper bag. Ch uh, not challenge but tag. Um, this is the Neverfull by Louis Vuitton. It's the big one, which I believe is called the GM. There's the GM, the MM, and I think there's one more size. So I believe this is the GM. Um, if I'm wrong, please correct me down low. Down below, um, on the outside of it, I keep this sanitizer. It's just one of those Bath and Body Works um, hand sanitizers. They, I think they're like five for ten, so they're a good, um, a good buy. They're either five for five or five for ten. I think they're five for five. I don't know. Forgive me, but. Um, I thought it was really cute to keep on the outside when you're dealing with a newborn baby or a kid just in general. This is perfect to have. Um, really handy so that if someone wants to hold him, you can wash their hands. And he is waking up convenient in that out. But bear with me because he happens to have waken up during the video, but it's okay. So again, I will start over. Here is my diaper bag. This is the Louis Vuitton Never Full. I believe the name of the size is GM. It comes in three sizes and this obviously is the largest of the bunch. Um, it's a bag that I've had for a few years. I was going to originally purchase a diaper bag but I decided um, you have so many bags because I have this one and I have the same one in the Azure. So I decided just use what you have because I'm not really into the shape of the diaper bags. I didn't really like them so whatever I just use this and if I decide to get something later on um, then I will but on the outside of it I have the Bath and Body Works um, hand sanitizer I believe you can get these I think it's either 5 for 10 or 5 for 5 I think it's 5 for 5 but don't quote me um, and then I got the little case that goes on outside of it and it's 550 I think it is and it's just a cute little get go which I thought was cute since um, my son is a little boy I thought it was really cute and reminiscent of um, uh -oh. reminiscent of, you know, a little boy. So that's for him. Now on the outside, or on the inside, this I put in there just because if ever you know you're going to be out like from the morning to the evening, it's good to just put a little bit of a little sleeper in there so that you can make sure that you have something for him when it's cold. Um, two blankets. Um, these are my favorite blankets. These are the Carter, the Target Carters. Um, I really like the texture of these, and these are perfect for the summer. And then this is just a simple flannel one, but um, it just depends on how, uh, how do I say it, how long you're going to be out. But generally, I grab two. If I'm going to be out all day, I'll grab four, and I'll leave two in the car. But you can never have too many blankets, just in case he spits up on one, or one gets dirty, or he pees on it when you change him, or whatever. Um, something that matches, and these are reversible also, the, the Target ones. These are my favorites, so I'm going to pick up a few more that look like this. Um, wh with that, I have the burp cloth that is from the same line. And this is perfect if, um, in the beginning of him being here, he didn't really spit up or um, throw up. He didn't really drool, but now at six weeks, he's starting to drool and spit up a little bit more often, so I find myself needing this. Um, so yeah, one breath cloth is perfect. Um, in addition to that, what I just said is a bib. He's never worn a bib yet, so I just put this in the diaper bag. But like I said, he's starting to spit up a little bit more, so um, this just ensures that he doesn't mess up his clothes. Um, from there, I usually keep about six to eight diapers because he usually um, 
I usually change his diapers about eight times on average. Sometimes it's ten, sometimes it's twelve, sometimes it's six. It just depends on how often he goes, especially because he'll poop and I'll change the diaper. He'll pee, I'll change the diaper. Sometimes he poops and pees at the same time, and so it's just one diaper. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So currently I have eight diapers in here. Um, and actually, what I do is what I did was is because it's such such a large bag. I picked up this diaper insert. It's by the Munchkin brand. Um, I believe it was under 20 bucks, but I thought this was really cool because you can just, it's like a little diaper caddy or something, and you can just put the whole thing into the bag so that I can just take it out, refill it, and put it back in. But I'll just show you what's in here. So, again, there were the eight diapers. Um, and then I have two nipple pads I do 100% breastfeed so it's good to have a set of these handy in case I begin to leak um, this is just some baby q-tips um, you never know sometimes he gets um, I have a nasal aspirator but sometimes that doesn't work like the boogers will be stuck in his nose and these are perfect to use for that or to clean his ears these are multi-use but these are just a bunch of those that I keep in there um, a jacket it's summertime and he's actually never worn a jacket I think he has like three jackets but um you never know what you need it for so one jacket and usually what I do is I pack an outfit and a few extra onesies in his bag so um what he has in here is an entire outfit so this is the jacket and as you can see it's that um what do you call it? like a teal blue I think it's like Carter's yeah, it's Carter's for three months, and it has that little fox on it. And then the bib that I just showed you guys matches it, and it says, Mommy's Little Guy. So you have the jacket, the matching bib, um, the gray sweats that came with it, and then you have a beanie in case his head gets cold or it gets laid out, um, and then the onesie. So that's pretty much a complete, really cute outfit if he messed up the outfit that he was already wearing. And then, um, since he is a little boy, boys do sometimes pee themselves, which means, you know, if I mess up and I don't point his pee pee down when I change his diapers, he will mess up his clothes. So an extra onesie long sleeve in case it gets cold or he messes up his clothes. And of course you can't go wrong with the white simple onesie. So these are usually what I would pack. Um, for him for spirit not this specific outfit but I usually will have like two or three onesies for him a pair of pants in case it gets cold and then like I said I added the bib and the jacket you know just in case um, in addition to that you have a bunch of packets you have two two pocket I'm sorry can't even see two three four five six you have seven pockets here um, and each have something in it I always have a portable or a travel um, thermometer. You never know, he may catch a fever or anything like that. I use it all the time. If he's crying and I don't know what's wrong, I always just check his temperature. temperature. Um, I got a travel set of um, baby products. And so I have, what is this? The baby shampoo. Um, I have actually two of these here, but these are the linolins. I'm not really using these anymore because I guess my nipples have gotten immune to breastfeeding but um, I actually only need one in here but I will keep one in here in case um, for whatever reason my nipples hurt a brush to always brush his hair um, I also have two of these aquaphors and they are the baby edition of them they're two sample sizes but it's perfect to have um, in a diaper bag so you're not carrying full size of anything which will weigh your bag down but I'll just keep one in here keep one in the house and then this is the Bordeaux Baby Kisses. It's basically, it says relieves and moisturizes chap lips and cheeks. So basically it's just a little chip, uh, chip lap, a little chapstick for him. He actually does get very chapped lips just like me. So I do use this um, here and there. Um, in the next pocket we have a rag. I usually keep his Mickey Mouse rags in here. And these are the rags. This is a part of the set of rags that he actually has at home. So he has probably about 10 rags and they all are in the same color pattern with the matching um, towels. And then he has a set of Disney Mickey Mouse rags. So those three I usually interchange and keep those in here and keep these at home. But um, this matches with the set he had of clothes. So... 
I like to match. It's cute to match. So this one is in here, and um, I do usually use these often. For example, if we're out all day for a long time, like for example, it's summertime, so it gets warm, I can just take a water bottle and I can just wet it and wring it out, and I can wipe his face down, wipe his neck down, wipe his back down. If he pees on himself, I can wipe him down. If his hair, his head gets too hot, anything happens, I can just wipe him down really easy. Um, the next pocket we have some mittens, which. I haven't tried to use mittens on him in a while. He does scratch himself and try to grab his hair sometimes when he's angry or when he cries. So these do come in handy, but they fall off of him. So I haven't tried to use these on him um, probably since he was three weeks old because they were too little. So I have to see if they fit him now because he's gotten much bigger. And then, of course, a pair of socks. Um, Usually, since it's hot out lately, I'll just have him on a onesie and a pair of socks. Sometimes not even a pair of socks, but again, if it gets cold or whatever, he has socks. Okay, the next pocket, I have two of these, what do you call these? The Lancino brand, and then the milk storage bags. The reason I have these in here is because, again, I do breastfeed 100%. But since he's six weeks officially today, I will start pumping. Um... I have the large Medela pump, which I'm going to do a review on this, but I also have the small one, which is in the same type of bag. It's just about the size of this area right here, so it's really small. Um, since I have two of these, I've decided to keep the other one in the car. Okay, my camera cut off, but as I was saying really quickly, um, I have the large Medela breast pump, and then I have a small one that's probably a little bit bigger than this area right here. And that one, since he just turned six weeks today, I'm officially allowed to pump, or not allowed, but officially at the point where it's okay to give him a, um, a bottle. So I'm going to start pumping so that daddy can help me with feeding him sometimes, especially like at night or when we're out or when I want to be away or go to the spa or get my nails done. I can have daddy, a bottle ready for daddy so we get my nails done. I don't have to worry about holding him and messing up my nails or whatever the case may be. So... I got two of these in here, which I can probably put a few more in here. Um, but yeah, I'm going to keep the travel breast pump in the car, which I already have. And I'm going to go to Target and pick up the, what do you call it, the car charger. So that if we're out and I need to pump for whatever reason, like sometimes my boobs get engorged, especially when we're out. It's perfect that I can pull over or while he drives, I can be in the backseat pumping until we get to our next des destination, which is perfect. Also, in this pocket, I have a Johnson's & Johnson's uh, baby lotion, which we use all the time. Like, if I change his diaper while we're out, I will sometimes... I like when he smells good, so I will um, just take a little bit and just, you know, give him a quick little massage. Or basically just put a little bit on his hands, his neck, his feet, his face, his legs, or whatever. It only takes a second, and it just makes him smell really good. And then I also have a Johnson's & Johnson's head-to-toe wash. Um, which is perfect because, like I said, I keep this in here. And, for example, last weekend, um, my son, my mother-in-law, my boyfriend's mom, um, changed his diaper. And somehow, I don't know how, but he managed, when she was changing diapers, she managed to make it to where he managed to pee upward, which he's never done before. Um, and pee got in his head and his hair. So it was like, he smells like pee. So... This is perfect for those occasions where you can just, like you're not at home, you can just take to the sink, pour a little water in here, pour a little, and then rub his hair and get this pee smell out of his hair because no one wants their child smelling like pee. Um, and that's it for the diaper insert. That's everything in those pockets. And like I said, now I just have a purse left, which is perfect because, like, since I sometimes overpack this, like when we get somewhere and I want to carry everything, I can just pull this whole thing out and I can just put two diapers, his wipes, and like one onesie in there. And if anything happens, like if we're in the mall, I can just carry my purse like I would carry it normally and not have this heavy thing in there full of stuff. I can just have two diapers, his wipes, and a change of clothes. So that if we're in the mall and he needs to pee or he pees, I can change his diaper in the bathroom really quick. And then I have this which you know if he pees on himself is perfect because I can change his clothes but usually if like we're in the mall or we're in someone's house or out to eat he won't need everything in here in those short like hour or two 
or whatever. So we have the rest of the purse. Now I do have a diaper changer, changer or the changer mat and it is by the same munchkin brand. I got this from Kmart. I think it was under 20 bucks and so was the diaper changers under 20 bucks. It's the same exact blue as this so it coordinates but I left that in my car and I don't feel like going out to get it so just know that I have the changer too and that's perfect to go in here so that when we go to um, public restrooms you can lift out the diaper changer that is in the handicap bathroom and then you just lay out your changer and you put your baby on that so that you're not putting your baby on the disgusting changer which you don't know when the last time it was disinfected um, also wipes we bought the large box of wipes from Costco I think it's the Pampers brand is this? no it's the Huggies brand and it came with this and it came with this and then it came with um, 1160 um, wipes in refill packs so basically you have these two and then you just keep refilling them which this is perfect because um, I like the way this one is because the other one that's by Pampers is wide but this one is really tight so it keeps the um, wipes from drying out and then this right here is perfect because it has a handle I could fill it with like other things if I wanted to like I can get a sandwich bag and I can put two wipes in there and I can fit that in here with this even with like a diaper rash cream or something like that if I just needed to just carry this it's perfect because I'll show you for example say this was his like a diaper cream if he had a diaper rash or something like that I can put this in here I can take two wipes put them in a sandwich bag which I did say I'm gonna add some um, some diaper bag or some what do you call it some large the large freezer ziploc bags for like say for instance if he soils his clothes I can put his clothes into those without them getting everything else um smelling like pee and then I could just basically put these diapers into the ziploc I can close this and then I can have his things that he needs to change his diaper um and again this is just filled with wipes and it slides closed that's how you refill it and then you open it here and then you just pull out your wipes as needed which is perfect um that's pretty much it for the baby stuff i just picked up the selfie stick last weekend and i'm in love with it so this stays in here with everything because we can take baby selfies like if i'm holding him i can take selfies and i just love it um my camera this is also in my meat essential because and this is actually my vlogging camera. I have the Canon PowerShop ELF, E-L-P-H, 330 HS. And this is currently what I use to vlog. Um, and with that, I also have the cord. So that stays in there because as a mama, I always want to catch everything on camera. And of course, I am a vlogger in training. And then this is like my purse. This is the stuff that carries my stuff. So this is the Louis Vuitton. Um, I'm not even going to play you guys. I don't even know what this is called. But this is why I carry all of my stuff in. I have my wallet. I have some fruit snacks. The mops. These are really good. But I have these in here for a quick snack. Pack of gum. And my foundation compact, which also doubles as a mirror for me. I usually do a makeup at home and then I just can powder or blot myself or touch up my makeup throughout the day. Um, I have a few pencil liners in here, two MAC lipsticks, and these are my current, like I'm currently into the Kylie Jenner Mavi Nude for Brown Girl. So I'm going to do a video on my version of that, but these are what I keep in here. Usually I have one of each, one lipstick, one liner, but I think I did it twice. Another nipple cream, which like I said, I don't really need that anymore. Um, I have two clips in my hair. With me having long hair extensions, you always have to clip your hair up because your baby will grab your hair or get hair on them. A little ouchless hair tie. It's actually a good thing that I'm doing this video because I have far more, far too much stuff in here that needs to be taken out. I would have three pin, or two pins and a pencil. I'm actually going to take those out and just keep one pin. 
my purse hanger, which I showed you in my what's in my purse tag, but you just hook it on here. And then if you're at the table, you put this part to the table, and you can carry, hold your bag without having to put your bag on the floor. I have two of these Apple iPhone cube charger thingies, so I only need one. Um, and then it's just a bunch of junk. This is a chapstick. It's a Vaseline, actually. Rosy lips. Basically some Vaseline. Um, a sample of Bond Number no. 9, which is one of my favorite perfumes. And then another hairband. This one probably is a cheap one, which will break. And then I just have a ton of change. But that's pretty much it for mommy. So that's basically what I keep. Um, I used to keep in my purse like a whole makeup bag and stuff like that. But now I just do my makeup in the house. I just carry a compact so that I can touch up my my makeup if I get oily or anything like that and um, touch up my lips because I'm always worried about him and dealing with him that now I don't do anything extra to my face once I leave the house. Um, other than that, there's a bunch of change in the bottom of this bag because I do need to clean it out so it's a good thing that I am doing this tag so that I can clean it out with. I don't know if you can see that. Um, in the pockets, I have some mail receipts these are some coupons I always keep coupons now but this is just a miscellaneous junk that is in the pocket of the bag which I need to go through this stuff and file what needs to be filed and throw away what needs to throw away but yeah that's it this probably was far, far longer than it needed to be but it's done so thank you guys for, for watching um coming up next i'm going to do my one month update with baby and i and it's going to be a post art postpartum update so i'm going to show you guys my belly talk about um everything that's gone on with him in the first month and everything that's gone on with me in the first month my weight change and all that stuff after that i'm going to do my hospital experience video where i'm going to talk about everything that happened at the hospital um and then from there i am going to do um there's a bunch of videos that I'm going to do. I'm going to talk about the breastfeeding experience. Um, tell you guys about the... Oh, this is usually in my diaper bag as well. Um, I don't carry... It just depends on the day. So if we're just out running errands and like going out to eat or something like that, I don't keep this in here. But if I know we're going to be out like from morning to evening, I will carry this in there as well. And it's just one of these... Naval, it's just a set. It's one of those safety first... Um, kits that I got at his baby shower and in it is um, one of these nasal aspirators in case he um, has a runny nose, some scissors, it's just this essentials, a toothbrush, another toothbrush, a comb, no clippers, um, and one of these, is this called a syringe? A medicine dispenser is what it's called but you know you can just pull medicine to give to him. And last but not least, it is his pacifier, which um, I'm also going to do um, a video about, um, what do you call it, breastfeeding babies, giving them pacifiers and bottles at six weeks in my experience with that. Because he just got this pacifier two days ago and he loves it. So this usually is not in this bag. This usually is in his um diaper caddy it's the Avery brand it's the one that um, they gave in the hospital so um, we got a two pack of those at the baby shower as well as one at the hospital when they gave him a circumcision they used um, a pacifier to distract him while they did okay my camera cut off once again but um, which means I'm talking too much but yeah I keep his a, a backup binky in here I'm gonna go and buy like two more packs of these and I'm gonna keep one in here as a backup and then I'm gonna put one that I attach to him when we're out because these things come in handy and I and again I will talk about that in the video for you guys um who will be breastfeeding but that is it I usually have a bottle of water for me because he obviously can't have water um yeah so that's it thank you guys for so much for watching again stay tuned for more videos because I will have more baby updates coming in addition to my daily vlogs which are coming back um i want to do some fun tags with my boyfriend and yeah i just want to get this channel up and running because uh, during my pregnancy um i did a ton of videos i was making videos every single day but um i just want to bring you guys a better quality of videos so that i'm going to get the new um 
or not the new, but I'm going to get a new camera um, in a couple weeks. We're mo in the middle of moving, which is why you see this pink background. Um, but yeah, there's a lot going on right now, but hopefully by July, my videos will be much, much better because I'll have a better camera, I'll have a better setup, um, and I'll be able to just give you much more better quality. So hang in there with me because these videos are coming. Oh, and this is my first, first video that I've actually recorded since I hit 100 thousand subscribers uh, or not subscribers I wish a hundred thousand views I think about a hundred and one thousand views so I just want to say thank you to everyone who has viewed any one of my videos um yeah so that's it I will see you guys in the next one I'm rambling I'm so excited to be back and I feel like I just want to keep talking to you guys over and over and over again so um I'm probably going to record a few more videos. I was in the middle of doing my makeup, but when you're a mommy, you have to just go with the flow. So I still have to do my eye makeup. Um, and yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. Please tune in to the next one. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Mwah.